What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your week has started out pretty good. Some of us have that short four-day work week this week. Uh, today was a little different head for me heading back to work, a little bit different. Having four, a little over four days off, um, wow, just was not ready for it. So with yesterday's video, a lot of people started giving me more insight into the video, especially with the difference between what a glitch and a cut is, which I figured the whole video had glitches through it, like lag and stuff like that there. And I, I got schooled. I mean, I, I learned something yesterday, which is outstanding because I think I had a conversation with a couple people in their comments that what's great about everybody on this channel with their comments, I'm always learning stuff and seeing different people's points of view on this stuff. So it educates me. It makes me think more every time I get into doing something. So if you guys recall, the video yesterday was the gold standard break. And I'm going to pull it up on screen, and I'm going to show you guys three things on to it. And originally, I was saying that I thought these were glitches. There was no ill will. And when I show you the second example on here, I think I pretty much retracted my statement. But let's get into this, and I'm going to play this. I don't know how well it's going to come across your guys' screen. I've tested it a few times, and it sounded all right to me. But you never know until you get to that streaming program. So let me pull this up. All right, so this is where he's going to open the pack up where we have that orange card at first. And I just want to show you guys what I was uh, told and shown through a couple emails actually yesterday too. So let's go ahead and hit play here. All right, I'm going to go back just a tad here. So if you guys look, when he's opening this pack up, there is a orange jersey on to it. And I'm trying to see where I found it at the best on to it. Right about in here, you can see the best. So bear with me as I do this, because i got to hit the comma and the period a whole bunch of times to go frame by frame. So... We know there was something orange in there. I know somebody said in the comments, I guess the guy was shipping something out that was a Broncos hit. Okay. It still goes back to my original piece that your the camera was horrible during the whole thing. Um, the taping was bad. At the same time frame, no recap. If you had a recap, you'd have shown everything. We'd have been like, oh, that's the card you're missing. He's honest. Doesn't do that. You know, completely sits there the whole time frame, complaining he has bad service or... Whatever it is, and he has new equipment coming in, bear with him and all that. That's something I don't want to hear from anybody is breaking. I understand if you've been breaking for a while and you're like, guys, my camera went down here. We got to use this old one. Bear with me for a couple days until, you know, this or this happens. But you have that good sense of, okay, they're doing the right thing. Here, I don't. So as you can see, there is something orange there up in there. So let me go ahead and hit play again. We're going to go a little bit further. All right, I'm going to freeze right here. So as you can still see, it's right there. You kind of can tell in a way that that's a Broncos card by the helmet and the jersey, okay? I really had to blow this up. So at this point in time frame, if I just hit the period one time, it goes to a new screen. I was told and even looked, this was a live stream. I have no idea. Nobody else knows on editing how you'd be able to cut it and stuff like that there. That's still way up in the air on how that would happen. But they told me between this comma or this this screen here. Sorry, not this comma. That's what I was pushing. This screen here and the next frame that if it was a glitch, it would have had like a black screen to it. You know, it'd be solid black for, you know, whatever it is, a couple frames. So I did not know that. So after that there, we were going through a lot of it, and, you know, it's, it started getting more and more into me, and I noticed, uh, well, one other thing in the video that kind of had me going, but I'm responding to comments, talking to people on the video. This is what, this next part here is why I retracted. Let me get to the right timestamp here. Because this is the part which makes me now, like, man, this is just not right. It seems shady. About right about here.
Okay. Let me go back just a tad. All right, here we go. Let's open it up. Ooh, right on the top. Got a patch auto. All right, notice, don't even pay attention to the card on top of there, whoever that is, for the, uh, I don't know who that is. Is it say Washington Redskins, actually? I think we still use Redskins. Well, anyhow, notice the next card after that is a points redemption card. It's red. Now, in my experience, the reds have either been 250 or 900 points. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please do in the comments. But for majority, from what I recall, from always pulling points, it's either 250 or 900 when you see red. Now, what's what happens here? Pat Friermuth. Nice card. And all these will be uh, put in penny sleeves and top loaders as well. Watch how Another he's picking pack. it up. Dang, this is a good one. LeVar Arrington. Auto number 11 to 75. Oh, by the way, I don't know. Either. Right there, if you listen to the wording and you go back into where it's playing and just put headphones on, you'll notice there's a skip there. There's another skip. First, he hid the points card behind and he's saying, oh, here's a good one, LeVar Arrington. I honestly don't think this guy knew much, knows much about football because he tried saying there was a Matt Ryan rookie card somewhere in here, and we all know Matt Ryan's rookie is not 2021 stuff at all. He does not have the knowledge at all. He's just making it sound good, but he put the points card behind that last card and never said anything about it. Nothing. Any other breaker tries to hide the QR code in the front and everything like that there. He, he doesn't even do that. There's nothing about it. He doesn't even mention it, but there's a part in there that's kind of cut because he, like, skips his wording. Here, I'll play it again real quick. 75. Oh, by the way, I don't know. Either. So my thing is, how does your stuff keep skipping all the time like that? It makes no sense at all. And even if I go back in time, you can see he's playing at the pack here. I, I don't get it. Again, I'm not computer super smart on all this stuff. I've been learning as I go, watch... You know, like anybody else, YouTube videos, how to do my videos, stuff like that there. How do I put this in a video? But this here makes me now think something's really wrong with this. Either this dude was way off and learned how to break with all of his stuff, and he had all these unfortunate technical issues during it. But why cover the points card and purposely do it like that? That, that made no sense to me whatsoever. None. Now, last piece I want everybody to really hear and this is how they roll their dice at the end. And it this is what it made me start thinking because as I was responding, this video was playing in the background, and I never realized, I guess it's his spouse, rolls the dice. He's not happy with how it rolls, and she's like, well, I rolled a five. You can't change it now. I mean, And she has to tell him to roll the dice for the random. And I'm like, wow, this dude's really lost on doing this whole thing. I can understand about having nervous jitters and stuff, but wow. Let me see if I can get to it here. And that this here doesn't mean like I think he this puts him over the edge of stealing stuff on that. But it, this is what brought him back in to start watching more of the video. And I, that's why I wanted to push this update out. Because I'm, I don't know how many people have seen my pinned comment that said to watch it a certain time frame. He took the points card. Again, there's no recap in this video. He's looking for the card now so he can try to figure out who the players are and what teams. It takes him forever. All right. Let's see. That's it. All right. All right. All right, guys. I said. Three card, three player, tri patch. Najee Harris, TTN, Javante Williams.
three of the top running backs in the league drafted this year. Rookie free card patch. And this dice right here. Pittsburgh's one, two. Jags are three and four. And Broncos are five and six. Let's get it. You roll it, hon. Why are you getting mad at your wife for the way she rolled it? <laughs> Broncos are the winner. Now she makes a so comment here at the end. To you, uh, good Broncos spot. You got a couple cards. Broncos got a few, actually. Uh, it did well. Um, but yeah, we'll get all these into into sleeves and top loaders and get them sent out there to you. Uh, like I said, thanks for bearing with me, guys. I'm just getting started doing this, so uh, I, I I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. You didn't sound very excited, either. It sounds like she said you sound like you weren't very excited, Ann, and then it cut off. And that's what kind of confused me because I'd never even seen this random at the end and how he did it. Um, to me, oh, let me pull that down. <laughs> that's kind of like just blaring at me for you guys to subscribe. All right, there we go. Um, like I said, it just was a lot of things wrong. And the points thing there really, really got me. And I'm glad a lot of you guys are really smart in videos that so were able to help explain um, why you didn't think this was a glitch in the system and everything. Because I went back originally to the YouTube channel he had it posted on. And it said uploaded. Well, today, all of a sudden, it showed live stream. And I know whenever you do a live stream, it's labeled different. So the live stream video has the same exact hiccups into it. It just makes me think, I, I have no idea how you would go about cutting a live video unless you're sitting there with your phone clicking it on and off type deal in a way, real quick. I, I have no idea. Trust me, I, I would not know. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody out there that would be better at this. And if you understand how they would do it, put in the comment section so everybody can learn how it's being done. Because, like I said, my original thought was it was a glitch because of his phone service or the internet and all that stuff with the way he was streaming. But just really not even that. You got the camera with the angle. You don't even get to see the product the whole time. Half the cards are sometimes on the screen. Um, I mean, I, I just, when I heard him say Matt Ryan rookie, I had to go back and look at him. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. How's that Matt Ryan's rookie card in there? And some of this stuff's like, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I mean, how do you know that's a good one? I mean, I don't even know if he knows what a good card would be pulled out of it, to be honest. But, like I said, I changed my view completely onto the glitches because of what everybody was saying and showing and helping me out. I guess you could say schooling me or, uh, you know, giving me the knowledge that I need to have because that that's some outstanding work by everybody on here. And that's why I like to post stuff like this because a lot of times I'm watching this stuff and no joke, I mean, just by doing this video right now, I've had four phone calls. And it kind of distracts me at times. So I'm looking, I'm like, seeing who's calling. Is, is it one of my distributor reps? Is it about my BCW order it was placed today? And all kind of stuff like that. And I may miss something because I'm watching it, but it doesn't have, like, my full and body attention. It's almost like, and I hate to use this for an example, like, <laughs> if you're married, you'll probably get or have, a, you know, a significant other out there even, whether it's, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. But a lot of times you're like you're paying attention to them, but you're really paying attention to like the TV or something else. But you're looking at it, them and everything. You're really not like getting a you know 100 percent what they're saying or doing. So it's kind of something like that there. Hopefully that, that makes sense in a way. But yeah, I I agree with everybody on to it. I just wanted to show you guys the things that I learned yesterday, plus those two pieces on to it. Well, one with the points card, the other part with you know. Your wife, or I, he said hun, wife or girlfriend, has to remind you about the dice roll. You tell her to roll it, she rolls it, you get upset. I mean, why? She did a good job on a dice roll, actually. She kept it on the screen with that, you know, crappy camera angle, to be honest. I mean, maybe she should be breaking. I, I don't know. But, you know, with everything else, it just seems real sketchy. I mean, could it be? That, you know, that just cuts out like that, those key points in time. 
If it wasn't for Hyden, that points card, I might have gave it more of a benefit of a doubt to it. But with Hyden, that points card like that, no, nah, I'm just not good with it. That just looks bad all across the board when you watch it. All right, everybody, let me know what you think. Again, if you guys got some more experience on this stuff, with especially like how they're cutting pieces out or how it's, you know, flickering or glitching, whatever they want to call it out there, cutting right there. Hey, put in the comments. I like to learn. I know there's a lot of other people. We're always looking for good information out there. Um, but that's pretty much it. I replaced this with uh, the video I'm doing today, so it'll get pushed tomorrow. Other than that, you guys have a good week out there. Talk to y'all later.